name is Miles Morales. I'm Brooklyn's one and only Spider-Man. And it- I don't like the whole like information dump. Like we know you're Miles Morales. Like if I took the time to click on this this trailer, I ain't know who you are, right? Why do we need to reintroduce you? Especially it's in the title, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. We know it's about Spider-Man and we know it's about Miles Morales. But I don't see the reason for the info dump. Things are going great. Oh yeah, you were supposed to be here. Fine. All right, whatever. Whatever. Wow. Whatever. So are you like a cow or a Dalmatian? I am the spot. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't don't do that. Miles's grades are pretty good. A in AP Physics. That's my little man. And a B in Spanish. What? Ooh. Okay. Miles, are you trying Mira, to that's impossible. All right, so I like the, the kind-heartedness of it. I like the light-heartedness of it. Uh, look, here, I'm a superhero. Like, I literally save people every single day. But I got to go to school. Grades matter. Mom and dad still wants me to invest in my future. I can't just be a superhero. Especially superheroes don't necessarily get paid. So I like the fact that there's an element of realism to this whole thing as well. You know, I, I I love the fact that we're not just going to be straight superhero. And I like that about Miles Morales. It's like, I'm struggling to be a good superhero, while at the same time, struggling to just be a kid and just trying to live in this world and decide what I want to do with my life, which I think a lot of people can resonate with. I got to go. All right, have a good He's lying to you. And I think you know it. <laughs> The dad already knows, if I'm not mistaken, from the last film that his son is actually Spider-Man. What's up, danger? Miles! Wanna get out of here? Oh! When? So wait a minute. There's an elite crew with all the best spider people in it? Yeah, one thing I like about it, we have great women superheroes, great women spider people, and none of that takes away from Miles Morales' Spider-Man. Like, they're just as good just as great, add great characters to the mix, but you never really feel as if that means that Spider-Man as Miles Morales must be less, and they, they must outshow him at every given turn. I like that. I like that. Who's the new guy? This is unbelievable. This is the lobby. Miguel O'Hara. The whole thing was his idea. What's a guy got to do to join this spider team? You can never be part of this. Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 1999.99. Come on, go easy on the kid. He had a terrible teacher. Peter. Miles. Mayday. You have a baby? I have a baby. I'll take it from here. Miles, being Spider-Man is a sacrifice. I also don't want too much information, right? When I watch the trailer... I want just enough int- I just want just enough information to be interested. Not too much to kind of really feel like I get a general sense of the entire story or plot line. Sometimes I feel like trailers can give you too much information. And sometimes that's a problem. Um or it can be done well if you're going to like like they feel like they're giving you something and people start to theorize and think they know exactly what's going to happen, but to have their expectations subverted. It's a very fine line to walk, which I hope they walk that line, but they're giving you a lot of information in this. You have a choice between saving one person and saving every world. <gasps> Send me home. I can't do that. See, now I know that there's a conflict between Miles Morales saving a bunch of people and saving his dad, right? I really, I really did need to know that part, right? I could have just been told that you have a decision to make between saving multiple people and only saving one. And I didn't need to know who that one person would be. Now, like I said, they could be subverting the, the expectations. It may not be his dad. It may be somebody else. And they just put that clip in that scene. And I'm hoping that's the case. So actually, in a way, I'm actually getting excited because the first one was so good. I'm willing to bet my money on the second one being good. You can do both. Spider-Man always. Not always. What about Uncle Ben? If not for Uncle Ben, most of us wouldn't be here. <laughs> can't stop me now. You can't run forever, kid. I can't right. lose one more friend. Yeah, it should definitely be a summary. It should never be like, uh, uh, no, yeah, it shouldn't definitely not be a summary. It should be a teaser. I need to just enough information to get my interest peaked. Just enough. 
are we talking about? You know? You have no idea what you're doing! Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> I like that callback, right? That's a that's a classic Spider-Man uh, callback. But I will say that uh, I love the internal conflict in Miles Morales. I love the fact that at the age that he's at, everybody wants to tell you what you should do, how you should think, how you should act, what your life should turn out to be. And at some point in your life, you got to decide who do you want to be. And that's a that's a wonderful lesson, I think, that many people can understand and learn from. It doesn't isolate anybody because I think everybody at some point in their life is wrestling with who do they want to be? What path do they want to take? Regardless of what your mom or dad are saying or regardless of what the teacher told you in school, I really, really, really resonate with that. And not only do I want to resonate with it, I want to feel as if it's not just a statement, but it's something that is being forced upon him to do. You know what I mean? All right, I'm finally back. What did I miss? You missed a lot, brother. You missed a lot. I did two. Uh, I'll tell you after I finish this video. I, I'm going to cut this out and put it out later. So if y'all watching this later, it was live. So just saying. And then I looked at my uncle and... Uh, let me guess. He died. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so that is the trailer. That is the trailer. I think that Spider-Man the uh, Across the Spider-Verse is going to be one of those uh, movies that don't disappoint. I really do believe that. Even though I felt like they gave us too much in that trailer, I really feel like they're going to subvert some of our expectations. You're going to enjoy the film. You're going to love the colors. You're going to love the different personalities and how they interact with each other. I really do believe that. So I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10 when it came to the 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 to the film itself as as a trailer i think a 10 out of 10 harvey lobby score on that i really think that everybody should go see it if you can if you got kids or family i have it has my stamp of approval y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more if you would like to get access to exclusive content consider becoming a member or a patron at patreon.com slash the hobby lobby you can also continue the conversation by joining the hobby lobby discord you can find all the links in the description below.